Yikes, sirs. My sweet God. If you jiggle Zila too, the luck goes up. That's what Rigoro is saying. There's a to zero. That's about as upsetting a pull as you could imagine. Oh, baby, that's it. There we go. Finally, I'm back, baby. Let's go. Come on. A5 Valeria. A5 Valeria. Oh, God. No. Not like this. No. Oh, no. Fastidious. Fastidious. How the heck are everybody? I'm Fastidious. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a pulls party. It is very much summons day, summons o'clock, if you will. Uh, if you look on the screen, you'll see we're doing summons for Riga Rowe. So if you don't know Riga Rowe, he's an up and coming YouTuber. Him and his friends have a channel. Uh, if you're live on Twitch right now, he's been sharing the link in the, in the chat. Uh, but yeah, he's been talking to me about this for like, I think over a month, wanting me to do his pulls on a stream. So here we are. Uh, if you go to the summons, he's been stocking up. So 164, pretty solid. 20k diamonds, and he's not, he's not, hasn't gotten any content creator diamonds yet, right? He's brand new. So pretty friggin' solid. But then 32 legendary summoning crystals. So we're gonna go in right now on this crazy divine summoning. We got 32 of these smackies. Um, we got a pretty short wish list. He's got a really great account. He's got every Lord, except for Elder and Soul Cadence, obviously. They haven't come to the game yet. Soul Cadence, I guess, for the top three in the whole world or whatever on global. Uh, and then the only actual Lord he's missing is Leia. So maybe he'll summon a bit for her tomorrow, I don't know. But we're hoping to get her now, and then the two that really would be nice, and maybe more realistic, because they're not legendary lords, would be Hotsit and Cetrum. Cetrum might be the best pull for this account, because he wants like one last boost to try to get to that 50k blood um, on Guild Boss. But without further ado, let's start pulling. We've got tons of space, let's do this thing. People in the chat are saying he has got gone, but no Leia, that's a good point. I don't think he has gone. All right, I was talking about the normal lords. Start off with Nazim, pretty rough way to start off. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, Anokin, Anokin. I'll share this for him and we'll get 50 more Diamondes. Diamantes, I was corrected. Not correctly, I never thought Diamondes was right. But then one day I was like, I should ask because I'm saying it all the time. God, it's been, it feels like it's been a while since I've summoned, but I'm thinking that it's only been like five days, but it really feels like it's been a while. There's a Theowin, fusible, no thank you. Keep in mind, these are legendary summoning crystals, so we're guaranteed at least an epic. I don't think there's any epics that can help this account, though, quite frankly. Um, so we're really focused on that sweet, sweet gold. Off to a bit of a rocky start here. I think that was that our fifth already or our fourth? That was our fourth. So we got 28 more kickers, though. The 2x is alive and well. Let's see if we can hit. I don't know why. It really feels like it's been so long since I summoned, and it really hasn't. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, he's saying after this one, let's do 50 normal pulls to maybe, you know, get this bad flow out of us. Don't be confused, this is not Calypso, of course. This is Mari, no thank you, Mari. All right, we're gonna do 50 10 pulls over here. Got plenty, let's do this thing. Come on, baby, maybe we'll hit over here. At least we got purple, so he's gonna get some points. Feel bad for who's ever in his spiritual altar, probably. Um, he's, this is gonna be a lot of points, because epics still give a lot of points, right? There's another Idril. I'm working very hard lately on saying Idril instead of Tariel. Some more epics, not gonna help this fu this fellow over here. Not gonna help him. Liam, people love using Liam. There's a triple, they love using Liam and talking about how, uh, look how cool this was, it was free to play friendly. And then you notice they also had a Racha and they also had Silas and a, a one Silas or a three Silas and they had a uh, Veer and a bond to go with them. They had an A5 Tariel. They had hot sit, but it's all about Liam, right, guys? There's a fusible. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Been very lucky with the purples, at least. Very lucky with those purples. There's another Mari. Mari's dropping. Dropping like a hot potato today. Let's keep going. I think this will be our last temple, and then we'll go back to those goldies. And at probably the right time to do it. That was some tax. No one's saying Liam is bad. It's just funny when people are saying that Liam is uh, the key piece in these comps, when the comps feature the most OP heroes in the entire game. Uh, <laughs> it's just so funny to me. Cutter's always gonna be my boy. Cutter's always gonna be my guy. All right, that we got out of the summoning portal. We got some blues out of the way. Let's reset. Let's, let's go in. So we're six deep. 
And it worked. There's a gold. It worked. All right. Good idea to get those 50 pulls out. Who are we going to get? Is this Setchum or Hansa? That's A3 Valeria for him, if I'm not mistaken. If you guys are unfamiliar, Valeria A3 is nuts. She gets some ignore defense during her ultimate. Her ultimate's where the big damage is coming anyway. You're going to build a high attack speed Valeria. For most guild boss comps, you are going to run her in a nightmare comp, right? Um, I know some people play around with chaos, but you're gonna run her nightmare ground. She'll be lightning quick. Tons and tons of ults, and bing, bang, boom. Time to ignore that defense. Unbelievable. I actually just put out a video today with Ray from the Dragon Slayers community, and she was one of the legendaries. It was about the legendaries we love to pull duplicates of, and she was one of the ones we highlighted because of how good that A3 is, and then also her A5 is cracked. There we go. We're getting some cheers from Riga Go. Riga Ro, let's keep going. That was pretty sweet. All right, are we gonna go back to back here? We might. Are we feeling dangerous? We're not, all right. Pretty good start though, if I do say so myself. We have done eight summons, eight summons, and already we hit Valeria. So eight summons is just better than the rates. Um, and we already hit Valeria, you know? I think a lot of people would be happy to do 16 summons if it guaranteed them Valeria. Harpoon we don't care about. There's a Dolores. There's no way that this account doesn't have an A5 Dolores, but that's gonna make some people jealous. All right, our 10th summon now of the, uh, these beautiful little gold things. And it's another epic. So the rates aren't crazy, but so far when they're hitting, they're hitting well. Another Mari, I really hate her cinematic, I really do. Mari and Livian, I don't need that in my life, not at all. <laughs> not at all. All right, there we go. I say let's do, hmm, yeah, let's do one 10 Ripper of the Blues to kind of reset ourselves a bit. Oof, well last time when we got taxed from the Blues, it paid off with that Valeria, right? So maybe it's gonna do the same thing right about now. Let's see, we got 22 more of these bad boys. It did not, it did not. I wouldn't mind seeing like a Pyros. Not that I don't, he, he has Twin Feet. He has an A1 Twin Feet. He doesn't need Pyros, but I just would, I would love to summon a Pyros. I, I know it's Pyros, his fusion just started, his shard summoning event, but I'd love to see that guy make an appearance, poke his little, his little bald head out. I wouldn't mind that. There's another Ardith. All right, what you got for me? What you got for me? Ooh, the rates are rough now. Now the rates are rough. Rigoro had very high hopes with me pulling for him. He thinks I've got a special finger. At the end of the day, it's always luck, isn't it? But there we go. We are 13 deep with one legendary to show for it. Is this going to be another? It is not. At least we got Maul on the last one. Again, epics aren't going to help him, so I'm not going to make such a hubbub. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So he wants to do some more normal summons, uh, summons to try to reset our luck here. Fair enough, we're 15 deep, that's another Dolores. Let's do like 40 more of these or something. More tax, baby, more tax. We're getting a lot of tax from the from the rare summoning crystals right now. Double sources though, double sources. You don't hate it, you don't hate to see it. Or just rip it again. At least we got a little perpy action, some points for him at least. There's a gluttony. A lot of gluttony now. And there is an Aatrox, pretty rare. I would be surprised if he has an A5 for Aatrox. So that's probably a worthwhile pull. Um, let's do one more 10 Ripper and then we'll go back to our golds. Was it the right decision? It looks like it's purple, it is purple. Mariel. Apparently for faction trial 12 in the Watchers, Mariel's getting some play. And speaking of, of faction trials, I just am about, I just six starred my uh, Yankar because I think he might be a key for me um, for, for my esotericist faction try, or the harder, the 11 and the 12. So on we go. Let's go back here. Let's do at least like three or four more. It's rough right now. The rates are rough. But I'll say it. I'm not afraid to say it. Another Aatrox. All right. Aatrox is really uh, making his presence be known. Yikesers, man. Yikes. Yikes for sure. What you got for me there is Vortex. All right, let's do one more. If this one doesn't hit, we're gonna go uh, get a little palette cleanser with our rare summoning crystals. Crystals. Rough, rough go for us, guys. Rough go for us right now. We are 19 deep with only one Lego. With only one Lego. All right, let's do two more over here. Maybe we'll hit Legendary over here. Maybe we'll hit Gold over here. Let's see, a little Screef, a little Wagrack. Laurel, Laurel's always fun. Maybe, maybe these summons are just saving themselves for a big finale. 
Lots of purple at least now. So we got those three tax rounds from the rares. Those are out of the way. There's a Rogers. A nice discussion, a nice discourse going on about him. There's a Harpoon. I am ready to go back. Let's get this to an even 10, I think. Yeah, yikes, man. No, no legendaries, no legendaries in sight. Nothing to be seen. Vortex, this might be our is this our third or fourth vortex in a row from these? I don't know. Feels like it. Whether it be true or not. Vortex absolutely has a super high drop rate. God, I that's our third Mari. I, I can really live without that. Third Mari just from the gold summons. Our third Mari. Total T's. Yeah, that's purple again, man. These rates are rough. These rates are rough. You have to remember, guys, each one, though, is an individual chance, right? And it's still only a 12% chance, not that high. All right, let's stop it in even 10. Let's rip, uh, let's rip, let's do two more 10 pulls. I feel like we're due for a legendary over here, maybe. Not that one, though. That's Taxo Clock. 10x on Mari, they're saying in the chat. Voltus, triple Voltus. What the heck could that mean? Who knows? I don't know if I've ever seen. Oh, we gotta make space. We're summoning like Mad Men. Let's make some quick space. All right, let's go back. We had a little, a little cleansing, a little sell off. We got some more. Let's do one more ten pull over here. I really feel like we're due. We're. Due. I, I don't care if we hit that many more legendaries, but if we're gonna hit, it's been such a drought. We better hit big. I don't want to see any you know who's. I'm not even gonna say the names of the ones I don't want to see. All right, let's see here. We got one more purple. Boy, oh boy. Really rough. My apologies. There's a mid on. Let's go again. Yikes, man. Yikes, yikes, yikes. These are these are some rough ones, man. Tragic. Our third Dolores from uh, one of these legendary summoning crystals. The jiggle mechanics are alive and well. No question about that. I feel like she has the most enhanced jiggle mechanics of everyone. Another epic, man. Another epic. We're down to our last bit here. We're down to our last seven. We have, uh, we've done 25. 25 with one legendary to show for it. Um, people in the chat are saying, I like the jiggle. Uh, definitely not, that's that's legendary. There we go. There we go, baby. Come on, Cetrum, Cetrum, Cetrum. And then I'll go on with the jiggle uh, conversation. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Why A4 Valeria? It's raining Valeria. My sweet god. Are we going to double up? Wow, that is nutty. Craziness. <laughs> Another Valeria. Uh, wow, I mean, Valeria's A5. Her A4 is just going to be something. Yeah, crit rate. It's a little easy, nice chunk easier to build her, but look at that. Her A5. Now she can uh, accumulate two more stacks of Power of the Sword. Uh, 12 total stacks. So normally it's eight stacks. Now it's going to go to 12. Uh, wait, what is this? Two stacks of Power of the Sword for each attack. Yes, and it can go up to 12, right. So already you could get uh, two, but before it was capped at eight, now it goes up to 12. Wacky. So uh, she's getting very close to being absolutely cracked. I mean, she kind of already is, but <laughs> just just wild. Um, we'll take it. First place in Arrival of Heroes, why not? I say let's carry that luck right into our gold summons. Nope, gee, oh, that's it, that's it. No, it's not. Oh, I'm so overexcited. That's my first false Lego call in so long. I'm just, I'm thirsty for it. I'm absolutely parched. I'm parched. I'm parched. That's not it. People are asking if the Lego luck is now. Oh, I want to talk about the jiggle stuff. I do it for every character. Not fe like, You only notice it with the female characters because you see the jiggle be jiggling. I actually, I, honestly, if there was a way to turn it off, I would. Like these over-sexualized stuff in the games always makes me uncomfortable. There's a Lily. See, no jiggle on Lily. I just spin my characters. It's what I do. All right, we got four left. Boy, oh boy, we just got to clamp down and do this thing. Yikesers! My sweet God! If you jiggle Zeal too, the luck goes up. That's what Rigoro is saying. There's a Tazero. That's about as upsetting a pull as you could imagine. Oh, baby, that's it. There we go. Finally, I'm back, baby. Let's go. Come on! A5 Valeria. A5 Valeria. Oh, God. No. No, no, no. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yikes indeed. Yikes. Oh, no. Oh, Lord, no. Oh, God. We got... That's the... Maybe that's the Cratch Tax, right? Maybe that is the Cratch Tax. Oh, my God. Well, we got to go back to the blues and get that little Cratch taste out of our Cratch mouth. All right. We got some Purpies. At least it's 100 Awakening Coins, he says. Now, that's... 
seeing the sunny side of life. Absolutely. Um, boy, oh boy, yikes. Let's do one more. At least we got purple. All right, then we're gonna head back to the golds, finish off there. I guess I'll take this moment to say, uh, Rigoroso, his channel, I mentioned before, if you wanna check it out, he's gonna specialize, him and his friend are gonna specialize in spending the best things to buy, the best way, the best bang for your buck, especially when you're putting out a lot of bucks, as you can see that he is doing. So he knows what, he knows what he's doing, or at least he knows how to spend, as we're seeing here. Uh, so probably worth a look if you guys are interested in all that stuff. However, we gotta find him some more gold. So let's pull this bad boy right here, and that looks like it is gonna be another legendary. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Cetrum, Cetrum, Cetrum. Hot suit, hot suit. Ah! If he doesn't have A5 Nyx, it's pretty cool. Nyx is very, very good at A5. I mean, Nyx gets better with her awakenings, but this is not what we're looking for. This is not the, the marksman we were looking for. We'll take the cheer. Uh, and I will say, guys, the rates came through in the end, so it doesn't feel like it. Well, I guess no, because the second Valeria was not on the gold. But the rates were not so atrocious in the end, right? So we've gone through 31 of these bad boys with three legendaries. That's not so far off. That's just under 10%. We would expect to be at 12%. It's not so far off, right? It really isn't. And can we hit one more? No, we cannot. Well, hey, it's something. It's something. All right, so let's ask Rigoro if he wants to keep going. However... Could be worse, double Valeria. Worse things have happened to better people. So, I mean, come on, pretty solid. Okay, the man just told me he wants to keep going. So as you can see, we got this spiritual altar with some crazy rewards. If you're able to get to 15,000 points and he's saying, let's go to 15,000 points. So to 15,000, we shall. Um, let's go into summon just to give you guys a little peek. So he's only at day 51 and he's already done 5,200 summons. So even 51 days in, he's still averaging over hundred summons a day. For perspective, even with all my crazy content creator rewards, I'm at like 2,400 summons in 105 days. So there's some perspective for y'all. Let's get after it. Um, we'll try to clock how well we're doing to see uh, how, like, how do you know when we're, I guess I'll have to keep going and checking to see when we're going to get, get that 15K. Um, time to grip and rip, baby. Starting off with tax. Puke. We do actually have one more of these bad boys we just got from the uh, the tournament, from the arrival of Heroes, so we might have to use that as well. We'll see. Bit of a yikes. Not in the mood for this thing. Let's keep it going, and we're finally on to our Diamantes. And the game's freezing. Sometimes that's a good sign. Sometimes that's a, that means Setrum's coming home. No, he's not. He's not. I'll be honest, I'm still cringing at myself from when I called the legendary incorrectly. I haven't called an incorrect legendary in weeks. So, but I guess, you know, everyone falters at some point, right? What do we got here? Just some more tags. No time for tax. This is a whale account. We don't, we don't watch tax on a whale account. Could this be purple at least? No, it's not. Back to back tax. Back to back tax. That means that Cetrum's in this one. Let's go, Cetrum. No, at least it's purple. We need those points if we want to get to that 15K, right? Damon. Damon. Ardith. I feel like Ardith, Ardith and Damon, especially Damon, showing up. That's gold, baby. There we go. I'm getting quick on that trigger. Come on, stick to your guns, baby. Cetrum. Let's go. Let's go. Who you gonna be? Who you gonna call? Leia, Cetrum, hot sit. Oh, Aelin! There's no way he has A5 Aelin, so we'll absolutely take her. Uh, if you have A5 Aelin, you're nuts. There's no way you have A5 Aelin. She just came last week. Uh, we'll absolutely take her. She's going to be very good in a lot of content we have coming. Uh, she is just kind of a healer. Uh, the one little thing she has, she's got a bit of a passive here uh, where she has like a little uh, damage mitigation. Uh, it's not so powerful. However, her heals are significant, and she is dirt cheap at six costs. She's going to be really, really, really good, um, really good for some stuff in Codex we have coming up. So keep an eye out for that. No complaints there. Let's see. All right, at least we stay colorful. Keep it colorful, baby. Hashtag keep it colorful. Double Voltus. There's a Dallin. I'm actually hunting for another Dallin. 
Uh, if you guys don't know, Dallin for me, I think she's, I'll probably make a video about it at some point. I think she's my favorite cost generator. And at Awaken 4, she gets minus one cost, so she's even easier to use. And mine's only Awaken 2, so I definitely wouldn't mind a Dallin. What do you got for me now? Some tax. People are also saying Aelin's very, very good in GVG. That makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. All right, we gotta make more space. I mean, he left a lot of space for us, but we're, we're summoning, right? There's, there's no time, there's no time. All right, that's plenty of space. On a more happy note, time for more summons, let's go. Autumn, my favorite hero. Oh, sources! Okay, that must be something good. That must be something great. I think once we get down to like 10,000 diamonds, uh, you know, diez mil diamantes, if you will, I think we'll go check in on the spiritual altar and see how many points we're at. There's Cyrene. I really don't love Cyrene. I don't, I'm, I don't really know where you could make her crit rate boost work. Um, and I don't think she's as fun to use as a cost generator at all as Dallin and not even as Narvi. Um, let's see, do, do, do. They're talking about the Dark Invocation pity, the Guaranteed pity, uh, whether or not it counts towards regular pity, uh, and it absolutely does. I personally confirmed it on stream on Sunday. So that video will come out probably whenever we get our next Guaranteed, but that is confirmed, it does count towards it. It absolutely counts towards it. So onward and upward, let's go. Oh, oh, that's it, baby. That's gold. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. What you got for me? Oh, first one. Another Nyx. Lots of doubling up today, right? So we got in five legendaries. To no, six. So we got Cratch and Aelin, but then two Nyx, two Valeria. It's a small hero pool. It's bound to happen, but boy, oh boy. I do love Nyx, and you're probably getting close to A5. Nyx A5 is pretty crazy. Every basic attack. So you build her high attack speed. Every, every basic attack has a double chance, has, has a 50% chance to deal double damage. Uh, it's pretty wild. Uh, I, I would love, I have A1 Nyx. I would love eventually A5 Nyx. Oh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Thank you very much for the follow, Sharks. I appreciate that. Sources. Little tax. We probably deserve that. So we're, our rates on the blues are great, right? We've probably pulled 150 with three legendaries. No, I'm not 150, probably 220 or something with three legendaries. Not great, it is a 2X after all, but not, they're, they're, they're solid, they're solid. All right, that isn't solid. That there, that there is not solid. Sources. Nero, is Nero the most unusable champ of the game? Thank you very much for the follow, I appreciate that. Double Nero, I mean, that's extra points towards our big goal. You wanna check the points now? After this one, we'll check the points. All right, I mean, <laughs> good time to check the points. That's back-to-back -back tax. All right, let's go take a peek. Let's take a gander. Let's take a little looksy doodle Getting pretty close, folks, getting pretty close. Um, let's, let's see, man, let's see. So it's gonna be, thank you very much, Sharks. Uh, it's gonna be, Let's call it two more ten pulls, and you know, if we hit hit a couple, if we hit one legendary, or we hit a couple of uh, herps, we'll be pretty close, right? Five hundred a legendary, I believe it's one fifty an epic, if I'm not mistaken. There's I. I's definitely a very underrated hero. Thank you, Jeffrey. Appreciate that. Appreciate that sub. All right, let's grip and rip. Let's do another one. Okay, more purple. That's more points, baby. More purple, more points. Put that on a throw pillow. There's an Azoth, and also a very underrated hero. Eye's probably more relevant, particularly in terms of like general PvE content. Let's see. Darn close. All right, I think probably two or three more temples and we're there. I don't want to overshoot this too much. You know what we can do? We do have this one gold summon, so let's rip that bad boy. More purple, baby. Not the best luck on the golds. Not the best. All right. Should get us pretty close though. Let's rip, let's rip, uh, go till the next legendary. All right, that's what he, Riga Rose saying, go till the next legendary, go we shall. And it wasn't that hard. There you go, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Efficiency, efficiency. Let's go, let's go. Hey, brand new. And an account like this, new is always amazing. We will take a Knesset. He says one more. <laughs> All right, one more then. 
Uh, we, we might not get there, just so you know, man, because uh, that's going to reset, pet, reset Petty. Uh, pretty cool to get Kineza and Aelin, though. Two heroes he actually needed. This account doesn't need so many. Um, we'll go till we're at 3,000 diamonds, I think, and then I'm going to let leave the rest to him, because I don't want to leave. He wants us just to go crazy. If you really want us to, we can, but I don't want to leave you with nothing. Okay, we're going to go till 3K. That's what we decided here in the chat. Or either 3k or if we hit another legendary. We'll stop at the next legendary for sure. He wants to go for bus, but I convinced I convinced Rigoro, come on, let's let's not go crazy. But we're definitely getting our 15k now. It's gonna be fun to see how many points he put up. It's no joke. These are legit. Legit summons here. But this is a guy with the Zelatu skin, right? So he knows he knows a thing or two about summoning. There is Ogruel. There it is! There it is! Woo! Let's go! I was looking away, so I, I didn't catch the first glimmer, but I caught the second. Another one-off. And the Lassier. Lassier's a great hero. I don't know how... Actually, he doesn't have 120 done. So some uh, awakenings into his Lassier might be pretty cool. Um, all right, I think we're definitely going to wrap it up there. Save him with that 6,000 left. Uh, no reason to push our luck. We ended up with really exceptional rates from the blue summons. Uh, definitely less than, less than 100 summons per Lego. So we'll totally take that. And let's just check in. We did max out the Spiritual Altar event. We actually beat it by 861. So pretty crazy stuff. Uh, I've one time I got the 7,000 and that was super hard. So we more than doubled that. So congrats to Rigoro. You got some, we got you some new toys, which was gonna be very hard to do on an account like this. I'll just show off the heroes now. Uh, that's A1 Lassier though, really nice. Uh, but yeah, thank you. And anyone that wants to go check out his channel, do that thing. Let's keep going. Fast Didius.